Hello everyone and welcome to another PWN Design Studio video on Quad Spinner's Geoglyph Macro Plugin for World Machine. That is such a mouthful. In this video we're going to be talking about another couple macros here, some that I haven't talked about already. So, so far we've covered Alien, Archipelago, Crater, Dunes, Earth Spine, Fissure, High Desert, High Lens, Igneous, and now we're going to get to the Mesozoic. So, this one's going to be interesting because this comes to, this is straight to the heart of my home, Zion's National Park. I live fairly close to it and it is a beautiful place. So let's go ahead and open that up. Um, and the description for this one says, This sophisticated generator produces terrains that were submerged for millennia, similar to the scenic formations found in Zion National Park. A blend of solid rough surfaces and smooth, water-worn indolations, or undulations. Mesozoic allows you to control roughness, indentation, and formation scale. Interesting. So this is it, just, you know, defaults. So let's go ahead and build it real quick. Let's see what it looks like with the defaults. Interesting. Yes, it does look, it does look like a little bit of Zion's National Park is there. So let's open it up and play with the settings. So I'm going to increase the scale on oh, there's the indentation. So let's see what that does. Okay. So yes, that does just indent. It does add a little bit of indentation. So I'm going to keep this relatively high. Formations. Okay. So it adds higher formations. Look like they're a little bit more bulbous as well. Again, the seeds, just randomizing it a bit. Let's look at that one. You can really see the resurgent seed affecting different areas here really well and easily. with that one undercurrent this one usually changes things quite a bit so I'll just play I'll stick with these and let's go ahead and build that now this would look really nice with some erosion but it already looks really nice even without it okay we got some flat tops we got this little area down here and if you go to Science National Park they actually have a place I believe it's called Monument of the Gods or something like that and this is exactly what it looks like you actually walk up these little areas right here with paths that were created for you and up here there's trees and it just looks amazing so this looks almost like it I like it so much alright so let's add some erosion to it um, not very much because there's already quite a bit there already Oops, that's a purlin. Duh. What am I doing? Go to natural and erosion. I don't want it to ruin the original look for it. I, I just want it to have a little bit of effect, but not much. So hopefully this won't affect it too much. This uh, good with terraces preset. Okay, so it does kind of mess with it a little bit more than I would like, because it doesn't necessarily look like this too many grooves uh, too much erosion but it does look nice this does give you this would be a really cool um, play or or set for a landscape like a level for your game would be right here because it, it's already a path just in this seed anyways it's not the case I'm pretty sure it isn't the case for everything in in this macro but there's already a path here and you can make it so large that it'll take forever to walk across this. So that's pretty cool. You get a lot of cool detail. Um, and it's really, really easy to make. You don't have to have any special tools. So let's get rid of the erosion and let's look at, you know, different scales here. And I'm going to turn up the indentation and turn... Um, I'm going to turn the formations down and let's change the undercurrent a little bit let's get a little different look going on there we go 
That's a lot different. I don't recognize this, but we will see. Okay. Really rocky formations right here. Um, you got some terracing, it looks like, some slight terracing. We might need to use a kill spike. And, um, yeah, it looks, this, I don't know if I like this as much as I do the original look we had. Um, but I, this does look familiar right here, especially when you go to Arches National Park. You really see these parts right here. You, ac you can actually walk on these parts that kind of looks similar to this. They're a little flat and detailless. Uh, and then right up on the top is where um, an arch would be or something that you can look at. So this this is fairly familiar. I would have to play with it a little bit more to get better results. So that's Mesozoic. That's really nice. I like that. Let's look at another one. So there's that mountain. So this one, a lot of people would like to use because it you just get really good looking mountains really quick so this mountain option right here adds or subtracts different amounts of mountain base it looks like or not base but um, features and then the base right here is either really low base or really high base um, but again I'm gonna have to play with it and find out so yeah, yeah that's what it looks like and then again the seeds just different randomization here and this one I know it's recommended to use with Neo flow so let's have that one I'm not gonna play with undercurrent mountain 2.0 if you uncheck this they go really crazy there you go you can see the craziness that's happening right here very stark mountains so I like to check mountain 2.0 but they give you the option to change the ratio between the two so if you need them to be kind of a mix you can I like the way this one looks a little bit more so I'll stick with that let's build it and there we go might have to play with the settings just a little bit more need to add some erosion uh, let's see what the description says the flagship ship of geoglyph mountain produces dramatic rugged mountains with from pure fractals the characteristic hard edges and realistic flat slopes are new to world machine I can definitely see those right here and right here though I might have to go into the actual macro and change these up a little bit more so let's change the scale to be a little bit less and let's increase this so we actually get those features that the description is saying and let's change the base there we go now let's build that again see what that looks like and finish with the description okay those are starting to look a little more like our mountains and the description continues mountains complex generation is achieved through a few simple controls and renders at lightning fast speeds superb erosion can be achieved with geoglyphs neoflow of course it can it's a really good freaking macro I love it let's add it and see some cool crap go down yes sir indeed we might actually benefit a lot from this if we use the erosion and neoflow technique that has been demonstrated before also maybe a kill spike or actually you know what let's not use kill spike let's look at a different one called peak compact which is this one and this one says, based on kill spikes lossless code and peak detects altitude agnostic masking, peak compact can compact and smooth unrealistic spiny peaks and transform them into unbelievable mountain spires. Very nice. This convenient device works with individual peaks as well as entire ridges. Peak compact can be masked for explicit processing. 
nice. So it can be very choosy on what we do with it. So let's see. Let's turn the detection all the way up in the aggression at normal and see what that does. And I may or may not be using it correctly. You might have to use a mask because it doesn't look like it did anything. So this is the height field. This is another height field. That's a mask. Let's turn the aggression up. We'll see what happens if we turn it all the way up. Okay, so yes, it did change a little bit and not nearly as harshly as Kill Spike. I like this as well. This is a, definitely a good alternative if you have mountain ranges. Uh, of course, you're going to want to use some erosion. You'll get those spikes a little bit more if you use a really harsh erosion. So let's put in this erosion and we'll make it World Machine plus power. And let's add a combiner, so we're using that erosion as well as Neo Flow. So let's put this one on the bottom, actually. And this one on the top. And we'll just set those together. <clears throat> there we go. We'll just average them out a bit. Now let's build that. We'll see what happens. It's really hard to see the erosion. So I might not be, I might have to change it up a little bit. Now what I did is I took out the Neo Flow and just used the erosion. So this is what we're getting, something like this. And then if you look at the Peak Compact, that's what it does afterwards. So Peak Compact definitely takes care of those peaks. So before, after. And the way you can use this peak compact is you can actually use this mask which has the built-in um, peak detect. So it, it's using the it detection um, devices to detect those peaks and then you can use this mask to smooth them out if you want. So, you just connect this back down into whatever you want afterwards. And uh, you can use a different kind of uh, noise here to kind of create those spiky bits that I was showing you to kind of show off its true power, but it doesn't even really matter because you can just click on mountains right here and then go straight into peak compact here and you can see how much of a difference it changes. So there's just the regular macro. That's it with it being eroded and then this is it with the peak compact and it looks really good you still have these nice looking mountain features with peaks but they're not so defined and spiky that they're going to be a nuisance later on in post-production so let's look at a few other ones so mountain is really nice I like mountain especially with uh, different types of erosion you do get really nice looking mountains really quickly so I'll delete those and let's look at multi perlins. So this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. And like the name suggests, I'm assuming there's just multiple different perlin no noises in here that make different formations. So let's see what the description says. An essential building block, multi perlin enhances our collection of basic fractals. This macro elaborates on World Machine's classic implementation of the perlin fractal and adds multiple recur recursions to create exquisite, complex, rocky formations. multi perlin provides three levels of output, with three types the complexity that you can control for, for a perlin noise and yet is extremely fast to build. So, let's take a look at it. multi perlin let's change the scale a bit, something small. Let me uh, kind of look at the top down almost. And let's just change the seeds around and see what we get. That's interesting. 
beta. And these are those three types of noise that they must have been talking about. Gamma. Then output. Ooh. Now you're starting to get some really interesting stuff. Let's keep the beta and build that. And that was super quick. Ooh. Nice. You can use this as like a base, like a ground level almost, and add other fractals on top of that or other macros on top of that and get some really good looking um, uh, noise and definition. So this might look good with, let's do some experimentation. Let's put the peak on here. And we went over peak in a different video so I'm not going to go into the details on that. And we'll just use averaging. Oh wait, no, what I use? I use screen. Let's use screen. And let's increase it a little bit. Maybe to there. And build that. And you know what? I haven't even done this yet, but uh, let's save. Yes. Let's look at it. Cool. So it's almost like the uh, igneous, uh, the igneous macro, as well as, uh, but but you're getting you're getting different formations in the igneous one. So it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. The igneous one looks more like an igneous formation. It's kind of swirly and really uh, brittle looking. This one is just fractal noise, and it's done really well. I like this, especially with the peak right here so let's go back into here and I'll turn the radius down so it's not so high up there I'll change that and let's also change the way it looks there we go and now it's save actually you know what I want to throw one more on there I'm gonna throw a equalizer on there and that will make it really kind of bulbous. So we got a lock preview on there, and now let's change this. And let's uh, mess with some different things. Okay. F on the keyboard turns off the lock, by the way. Holy, so much going on there. That equalizer is really making it distorted. Don't like it with the equalizer, so it's going. Bye bye. Oops. Make sure we still have something that's good looking here, which we do. And the coordinates node right here, all you have to do is just throw in a parameter, and this XY is the coordinate generator. And you just connect that to there. And you lock the device preview here. Go in here and you just change the values. And it changes them so much, it's really hard to do with the sliders. So you just got to do it one by one. Oops. So in here, just one, maybe two. And then over here, put this one at like three, four, so on and so forth. That's how you use the coordinates on here. And uh, it is a pain in the butt, but that's how you do it, in case you're wondering. So I don't want to lock that. Let's not. And let's go ahead and build this one. Okay, cool. So that looks a little bit better. We are getting a little a diamond shape here a pyramid almost so we need to probably use an erosion on here to get rid of that so it's not so obvious but it does blend rather nicely with the other fractals there's not a very harsh cutoff line and even still it looks like again those plates are colliding creating this peak and it looks really nice we can use peak compact or kill spike on this and we might want to use peak compact on this instead of kill spike there's that peak detect one where it detects the peaks 
doesn't compact them, but it just detects them. This one has the peak detect in it, but it also compacts them, just like I was saying before. So let's go ahead and use that, and we'll just you know turn this up, and we'll just make it a little bit more intense, so we can get a good look at what's happening. Makes it a little bit more round right here. So let's look at multi perlin peak, and then let's look at the combiner, and then that's with the peak compact. So it is affecting it a little bit, um, and just enough that it's not destroying the quality. So I like that. Now let's go back and throw on NeoFlow. Now we're getting something completely different here. So let's save and then build. Always save before building. That's my rule of thumb. Okay, so NeoFlow is really taking a toll on this. We might just need to take it. I did disrupt that diamond shape we're getting, so that's good, but it's affecting it too much. We have to go in there and kind of change the settings, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to show you. I just wanted to show you these. So you can do that. I'm going to take get rid of the uh, peak macro as well as those, and we'll just stick with the multi perlin. And let's take a look at this one more time just with itself. So this looks really nice. What does the description say one more time? Okay, so it doesn't really say, give you a recommendation of what to use with it. So let's just be a little adventurous and let's put on just the regular erosion node. And let's change it to good with terraces, just the preset. And let's build that. Okay, that looks that looks nice too. And then you can uh, you can go into uh, the NeoFlow. You can connect the two again and give it a little bit of a different output. So you can do that whole technique again. But I'm not going to do that. I've done that a million times. So let's look at a different one. So there's multi perlin, and I already showed you peak. So multi perlin and peak I showed you, but I'll show you peak just by itself just so you have an idea of what it'll look like. And again, it's super quick to build. And this is peak by itself. And this one is really interesting because you get these areas like right here where it looks like two tectonic plates are merging together to create this plate and you get that as in its own entire system almost. You really see it right here, right here, and uh, like right in this area almost. It's really cool. I like this a lot. And let's read the description. Peak is a simple yet highly useful device for creating dramatic mountain peaks on existing terrains. The output's strong features can be controlled to a very large degree, extremely fast to build, and the output is erosion free, giving you complete freedom to erode as needed. So that is awesome. And I already kind of showed you the options in here. So here's the radius. This just changes the radius of the peak. So I'm going to keep it kind of low. And then turbulence is just the uh, turbulent noise that's affecting it. And then obviously the seed. So let's go ahead and build this one again. And we'll actually throw some erosion on there. Oh wait, I'm not going to erode this one. I don't like how this one turned out. Really. It's, it's interesting, but I don't quite like it. So I'm going to go back in here and change it up again. I'll keep this one. This one looks a little bit more peaky. Yeah. And I know with this one I want to use Kill Spike because I've used it before. So let's build that. And I might have to go in there and change the settings for Kill Spike. Nope, that looks just fine. Uh, a little more, less detail than I want that was taken out, but that that's okay. So let's go in and let's just use the regular erosion here. And I'll just change it to classic world machine and build that and we'll see what it looks like. 
Typically, you want to be a little more selective with your erosion. You don't want to just erode the entire thing because you get really weird formations like uh, right here and uh, right here. So if you zoom way in here on the uh, area down here, it's really flat and sharp right here. So, so you want to be a little bit more selective, though uh, this turned out all right. So you can see Peak makes really awesome um, mountain peaks. So you can throw this. You have like these little other mountains down here. Um, and then this one's like the, you know, the Kilimanjaro of mountains. So I'll go ahead and delete those. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe when you guys do that. It really, really helps me in continuous, continually making these videos. And please visit my website at www.pwnstudio.com.